what is going on guys welcome back to the channel my name is Kyle Simon and this is my 2004 BMW E46 M3 we're gonna go ahead and go over some specs and check this thing out all right guys so under the hood of this car here we have an inline 6 s54 b32 which is a 3.2 liter pushing about 330 horsepower from the factory I do have a tune on this car with some catless headers and a full exhaust system so it revs out to about 8,400 RPM and it's really fun up in the canyons. Let's go ahead and check out the exhaust in the back. Let me go ahead and turn it on and give you guys a couple revs. Alright, so as you guys can tell, it's pretty raspy, which is how E46 M3s usually do sound for that inline six, but sure does smell a lot too. All right, so the tire specs on this car are 265 Michelin Super Sports in the back with 245s up in the front. So moving up to the front here, this car is paired with Bilstein adjustable coilovers. So when you're going on track days or trying to move on the street, you can adjust the coils to how you feel comfortable with your ride height and uh, ride comfort. The car also has E92 competition package wheels, so I put newer M3 wheels on an older E46 body. All right guys, so this car is also paired with a six-speed manual transmission unlike that semi-manual gearbox here. So it's not as clunky as you guys would think. It is a little old, so it's hard to get in and out of gears and everything, but it's got a super short dine and shifter. Alcantara all around here, Alcantara aftermarket steering wheel, and along with the e-brake here. So everything's been refined on the inside completely. All right guys, let's go for a spin. super happy it's not too too fast but it does have a sport button here which as you guys can see changes the rpm i'm not touching the throttle at all it's just the second you touch it it enhances the throttle response and a little bit of rpm again right there i love this dining short shifter looking to get an E46 M3 as a daily, I'll tell you right now, it's the wrong car. I used to drive this car for my first car and every single day, it'll sure cause you problems, get you a lot of tickets. It's rough, man. You, you feel like the car's breaking every single day as you drive it. So if you're looking to get these as a daily, definitely not. They're starting to go up in value and I mean, they're just, they're gonna be classic cars soon, so. I believe that this is one of the last true M3s. Uh, we do have the E92 M3, which is also a great car, but it does lack torque and it is a V8. The inline six, the raspiness, everything about this car has character. It's one of my favorite cars. It was actually personally my first car and I love it. We have a Z3 M Coupe as well, which belongs to my dad and we just love collecting these cars. So if you guys do like BMW, stay tuned because I think we have another one coming soon, but I'm not gonna tell you guys which one. I'll tell you it isn't a brand new one because we're not really with those. We kind of like these six speed manuals, the iconic BMWs, the real BMWs in my opinion. The forced induction turbos and DCTs are all, they mean nothing to me. You can go down the street and just buy that, whereas this you need to look for and look for a clean one. I mean, I have 80,000 miles on this car in still good condition as a clean title. I love it. BMW E46 M3s go ahead and stay tuned because next week's video is gonna be insane I got the 46ers M3 coming and it's beautiful So if you guys enjoyed today's video go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button comment down below and I'll see you guys next time Whoop.